Tory Lanez and Royce the Five Nine got into it the other day. So Tory Lanez kind of waved the white flag a little bit and kind of came back a little bit from going into the deep end with Royce the Five Nine. It wasn't. It didn't necessarily have to go that far. But I understand Tory Lanez was just you know he's in defense mode. Okay, people are coming at him. You know he's in defense mode. And this is a kid who's not a sucker. We've seen him fight people and everything. So I do have some respect for Tory Lanez and you know. He does very well out here, and he's pretty well-spoken. So let's get into this. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button, guys. And uh, hit that thumbs up button for me. Okay, so Royce the 5'9 and Tory Lanez, they got into it the other day. But I'm glad that they found, a, you know, they talk like men on the phone and got a resolution. Now, uh, how it started was Royce the 5'9 was commenting on the Joyner Lucas battle. He said, you think Tory won the Joyner battle? He said, no. Tory Lane said, that's why you rapidy ass dudes always uh, get the wrong conception of a W. Shows why your careers are so low. And then he said, my dude, you trying to get your ass beat. You're doing everything right. Uh, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt because you're Canadian. Now go play somewhere else. And he said, easy, Mr. Muscle Milk. Don't let your gym work out. And fumes in the air start confusing your mind, old dude. Uh, talking before you get upset on Twitter. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hit me with emojis? And then he said, told him to suck his D. And that was crazy. He said, all right, cool. Remember, you said it, not me. So then a couple days pass, and then we get this. Tory Lanez puts up, spoke to Royce. Very productive conversation. We good. That's waving the white flag, okay? Uh, but, you know, he had to do that because it was stupid. It was really dumb, okay? that's the and, and this is a good resolution. I'm not, I'm not trying to play him or anything. I just think it's funny that he went off the deep end so fast. He must have been tipsy or something because that way it just didn't make sense, right? So then um, he says, I do think that it's important at some point that me and Royce get in the booth and go bar for bar because hip hop still needs to see us spar for the culture. But really, I didn't need him to tell him to suck my dick. That's that's true, okay? So I'm glad, you know, he resolved that. Uh, now, Royce put up something the other day. He said, uh, well, today actually, he said, if you're out here hustling trying to provide for people i don't care what kind of music you make or what generation it is i don't have to like it i want nothing but the best for you you know he kind of reflected on the whole situation um and also put up this video just reflecting on everything just you know like it's not necessary to go so far at the deep end what's up y'all yo i'm in australia right now still on tour but um i just want i want to talk about a couple of things because I've been reading uh, the comments y'all been making. And it's kind of funny to me, man, because if you really know me, like if you've been following me, then you know. Like I've made so many mistakes in this business. I've said so many things that I shouldn't have said in the heat of the moment, drunk or whatever. Like ask yourself this, who am I, me, Royce, who am I to not accept somebody's apology? If a man is commendable enough to admit when he's wrong and when he says something that he shouldn't have said, who am I to not accept his apology? Just think about that. Now, let's think about this. This whole narrative that we have in hip hop, the old guys versus the new guys. I don't know who started that slave mentality shit, yeah, it makes sense, man. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think? This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button.